Hello, welcome back to Tarot by Lodestone Productions, where we help you discover your true north. I am Aditi, and this is a message for whenever this message reaches you. Because spirit is not bound to our time and space continuum, and so the only time by which we tell time is divine time. Dig what I'm saying? So, let's not tear things up. Uh, so let's check our spiritual voicemail and see what's what. Shall we do it? No. That's better. That's better. Mm. Here we go. All right. Uh, first things last, I need to get this out of the way so that I can get in the proper position. Yeah. Yeah. Placements. Placement and alignment. Mm -hmm. Two keys to success. Your placement and your alignment. Mm -hmm. Interesting. So, some of you feeling out of alignment. Feel like you're uh, missing it by that much. Perhaps something's happening. Yeah. Well, let's see what the cards have to say. One more, one more. Juicy shuffle. Juicy shuffle. Yeah, juicy shuffle. Okay. Starting off with the hangman, two of pentacles, seven of pentacles. Page of cups, nine of swords, and the ace of swords. Well, well. Let's check the viewfinder, make sure everything is lined up as it should be. Let's move you up a bit, scoot you over, make sure that we can see all of these things. Jeez Louise. Okay. Que sera, sera. Que sera. Sarah, ugh. Okay, Sarah, Sarah. You're, there's a release here. Father, I stretch my hands to thee. No other help I know. Yeah. It's, um, this is taking a really big moment and acknowledging your role. And how you got yourself strung up to begin with. This is um, a, a come to Jesus moment within yourself. Because no one else can get you here. You know. Um, you have you know those friends whose, whose advice you actually listen to. Whose opinions you know you, you hang on to. But getting to hanged man position. This is you on you about you and you being really honest with yourself. Okay. And we've got the two of coins and the seven of coins. And so it's like, it's balancing the loss, balancing expected loss, managing expectations. Ooh, that's a good one. Yeah, especially since we're in this is tying it in with that hangman energy and just kind of saying, okay, you, you know what? I know it's, I know that I'm gonna, I'm gonna wind up taking a hit as a result of these actions. I, I want to be able to manage
manage it properly and keep things afloat. Um, the Page of Cups with the Nine of Swords and the Ace of Swords. There's... I almost see a temper tantrum. I do see a temper tantrum actually with this managing of loss and you're yeah there's there's some food instability really okay all right food instability okay um oh, oh 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 okay okay i got it i got it all right um so if you grew up not having enough to eat right and you get past that and now you do have enough to eat every day right but your situation is changing again to the point where you're going to you're expecting a monetary loss things have changed you're expecting a monetary loss and so the younger version of you who may have experienced lean times before in a way that they couldn't do anything about it they just had to roll with it um, and those survival instincts that had to kick in because of this instability is starting to rear their heads because there's going to be another change that puts them back in that direction right and it's with the nine of blades behind that which is the only reason why i got like that instability thing because it's all of the anxiety of what if what's going to happen how did i get all of that but with that and because of that there's going to be some true clarity coming through from all of this uh, reason being this this lesson once you go through it it's it's like the last bits of it okay for some of you, this particular situation that I'm seeing here, you've seen it before. You know what it is. And you know that you don't want to see this anymore. But it's about getting through this difficult time. Yeah, it's about getting through the difficult time. And gaining the clarity as a result, oh, let's knock that over. Viewfinder. Okay. So, yeah, clarity through struggle, but the last bit of it. See? Page of coins. Yeah, you're going to get small gains. It's going to come on back. Yep. With the eight of coins. Look at that. Look at that. Sometimes you just got to face your fears, right? Sometimes you just got to face your fears. You're stronger than you think with the Ten of Wands. Way stronger. You're actually, and it's not like this, this change is because you didn't want to put in the work. You actually put in the work, but, you know, growth isn't, isn't linear. So, but yeah, it's you're make you're still making strides they might be small gains but small gains are still gains regardless and it's still building strength all right With judgment again you hey you have called yourself on the carpet called yourself on the carpet and spirits like you know what good job appreciate you being honest with yourself tell you what Let's go ahead and give you a choice. Now that you're here again, which direction do you want to take? What do you mean, what direction do I want to take? 
I don't want to make these choices. Neither one of these seem like a good idea. I, we got, I, I don't. Can you give me a couple of the choices, Spirit? I mean, you just said I did a good job and then you give me this difficult decision to make. And you know what? Either way it goes, it's going to cause a fight with the Five of Rods. Oh, man. And this is what I get for making slow and steady gains. Like, I thought you said, hey, Spirit said, good job here's your level up I don't know how long you've been communicating with source um, on purpose but it kind of seems par for the course you know you 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 learn this big lesson and then there's this conundrum that you never saw coming that you now have to deal with and it's going to be a challenge and it's always and it's never the timing is never perfect it's never perfect not for us the skin suits is never perfect for us um, because we would just want to be done with the 10 drop that you know get a good couple stretches in and then just chill but no no because you have to there's more there's more here again this hangman energy did not happen overnight and we already know that the wheels of the, the wheels of justice are slow in the physical and because Spirit is not bound to our time and space continuum. And so the only time by which we tell time is divine time. Yeah, this is divine time at work. It just seems inconvenient to us here on earth. It just seems inconvenient to us here on earth with the moon. You are not privy to all of the information. Golly, I love it when spirit does this. You know what you need to know to make this decision. It's going to be a hard one. You don't know everything. These are the choices, kid. You either put one foot in front of the other or you put one foot in front of the other. Just watch out for the two wolves on either side while you're making your way to the tower. Yeah, I said it, to the tower. King of Pentacles. Five of Pentacles. Heavy heavy is the head that wears the crown right what you don't see is that one of the things that you're missing is your ability to actually recognize value like some of you were still in that frame of mind of thinking that fives of anything are just terrible and or lonely and or difficult and then that's that's it fives offer way more than that fives let you know that you've come to this place of maturity and it's not something that like five energy is not something that you should just bemoan and oh god it's so terrible if anything it should be a a time of celebration because you know you you made it you can you can now do you you're a big kid now you know you don't do nursery school stuff you get to do elementary school stuff now right Wait, where is it? Eternal youth. Look how small that skull is. You get to do elementary school stuff now. Okay? You get recess and no nap time. No nap time. I'd like nap time back, but, you know, anyway. So, yeah, this five energy is about you getting past what you used to do. 
Because remember, that's what we started with. I don't want to see this stupid shit no more. Remember the last reading? I don't want to do this stupid shit no more. I don't want to see this stupid shit no more. And you're literally saying this to yourself. And it's like, okay, well, you don't want to do that stupid shit no more. Um, let's go ahead and walk through this shadow of the valley, valley of the shadow of death. Just walk on through it. Let's see what's up. We talk about five some more. Let's go ahead and talk about the five of blades then. Since we're talking about, you know, expansion and growth and leveling up and things, um, that also includes how you communicate. Mm -hmm. Because there are going to be people around you that are going to be put off by your growth because they've had a lot to gain by you being immature. But if you start, if you start walking that talk and start communicating, working, and using your resources, like you may have learned something from this last major lesson for those who decided that they didn't want to go through that learning process because it was easy they're going to be put off about it now this is like that this this gives that energy of i could do it but i'm not going to do it even though you're begging me to do it but i'm not going to do it to you because you don't know what you're asking for. I do, but you don't. And since you don't, I'm going to spare you today. Um, then we've got the Queen of Cups coming in. Same thing. Like She's got that knowledge. She knows, the Queen of Cups knows exactly how to get to the core of what someone is trying to not say completely expose it and then just go on about her life like it's no big deal because to the queen of cups it isn't it is not a big deal that is just the human condition and sometimes humans just act like humans. Hold on, let me get my, there we go. And sometimes humans just act like humans. So the Queen of Cups kind of comes and helps navigate, especially when we're talking about all of this transformation time. She's already been there, done that. And so she comes in to lend her wisdom on the best ways to deal with this kind of stuff because it does get uncomfortable for real and then we're just going to talk about the big five the hierophant why the fuck not why the fuck yeah the hierophant so um in the same vein of growth and expansion uh, the hierophant is our spiritual subject matter expert uh, because he knows what he knows about all of the universal truths if he really walks it like he talks it um, there's going to be a certain set of rules that he is going to hold himself to um, and please understand all pronouns are just going to be all pronouns are just there they just what they are um, yeah just take the energy as it applies again he, he's not there's a code there. He's looked at, he, he's the one that people go to, not necessarily for advice on what I should do, but more, what exactly does this passage mean? How does this, how does this directive from this ancient text line up with this directive from this ancient text and how do I take both of those and apply them in my life I need your interpretation yeah 
the interpretation. There is a lot of power and a lot of responsibility with that. But also there is consistent growth. You will never know everything that there is to know about our spiritual lives, our spiritual worlds, our spiritual paths. The only thing that we can do, we owe it to ourselves, is to do the actual research and come to our own conclusions. But as we are doing that, it is also good to be able to have those kinds of relationships where you can talk with someone who has also done the research. Listen. Ugh. I really hope that all of you have hobbies. I thoroughly enjoy discussing the mechanics of dance with a professional dancer. It's so great. Everyone's done their own research, but you have someone to actually run ideas by. So, and this very well may be you. If you, you could be coming from hangman to hierophant. Actually, there we go. There's our title. Hmm. Now that's a transformation. Okay. Thank you for taking the time to hang out with me today. And until we meet again, remember to be good to yourselves and to each other. I will see you next time. Bye now.